I'd like to welcome on stage the President and CEO of Ford of Canada, Mr. David Mondragon. Thank you, Ron. Uh, I love auto show season. This is, uh, this is a very exciting time. You know, there's no other venue, uh, actually, that customers pay to come to see our products. So it's, it means that much to us to put our best foot forward at these shows. And as you look at the show this year, every manufacturer has definitely put their best foot forward. We need to thank Ron, especially for all his contributions to our industry last year. As president of the Toronto Auto Dealer Association and president this year of the Canadian International Show. So thank you for all your contributions, Ron. Okay, so what are, what are the key issues that are facing our industry today? Well, I think they're summed up neatly in this year's auto show theme. Connect, experience, and discover. First of all, let's talk about discover. Just when you thought you'd seen it all, our industry is forced to rethink everything that it knew. If you thought that we had gone as far as we could go with fuel economy, we'll tear that thought up and start again. If you thought that we've gone as far as we could with innovative design, get ready to push the boundaries. If you thought that onboard technology had reached its limits, we'll think again. We're at the center, or we're about to enter, as Captain Kirk used to say at the USS Enterprise, warp speed into a new age of discovery. Some of this is being forced on us because of the huge changes of the, in the economy as well as the environment. Some of the changes are being fueled by internal desire to push ourselves to always do better in this industry. But no matter what the motivation, the result will be an outpouring of new ideas and new ways of doing things. Here's a question. Is the price of oil rebounding to $100 a barrel bad news? Well, I'd say yes in the short term it is. But it will force segmentation back to car in Canada from truck. And it will also further motivate manufacturers to get better fuel economy from our traditional powertrains and invest in new ones that run on new fuels. But it will not be enough to simply discover new solutions to fuel economy. We have to connect to the needs of our potential customers. And one of those desires is connectivity itself. An emerging generation expects to be plugged in 24-7, and they don't expect to be unplugged just because they happen to be traveling in their vehicle. So one of the greatest challenges in the near term is devising means that meet that desire. And at the same time, ensure driver and passenger safety. Yes, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. It's very telling that at the Consumer Electronics Show earlier this year in Las Vegas, two of five keynote speeches were delivered by automotive manufacturers. Think about that. 40% of the most significant keynote speeches at the world's most significant electronics and entertainment gathering were delivered by automotive manufacturers. We, ladies and gentlemen, are not creating simple transportation devices anymore. We're creating highly intelligent, highly sophisticated consumer goods. And that leads to my third point. Our customers are increasingly expect that the experience that they receive when they interact with an automotive manufacturer will be as good as the experience they receive when they interact with their favorite brands. And by that, I don't mean their favorite automotive brand. I mean their favorite brands, period. Outstanding computer retailers like Apple or iconic Canadian brands like Tim Hortons is a great, are great examples of brands who excel in customer experience and deliver every time on that experience and that expected experience for their consumers. My point is that we no longer operate in a closed automotive only environment where we benchmark each other and good enough is simply good enough. We have to adopt the best in class behaviors from wherever we find them in our industry. With customers voting every day with their pocketbooks and ultimately deciding who the winners and losers in the marketplace will be, we need to move fast. Today is the start of a new chapter in the automotive industry, and you'll see that at the show today. Despite all the challenges we've been through and all the challenges we have yet to face, we do have a lot to celebrate. Our industry is stabilized and starting to grow again. So today, 
I'm proud to kick off and unveil the 38th Canadian International Auto Show. So take it away. <laughs> 